Today I'm going to analyze an amateur player's two-handed backhand, and then I'm gonna step on the court myself and explain my corrections. So the first thing I want you to notice is that the player doesn't have a ready position. The paddle is off to the left. It should be in front of them with two hands with the arms tucked in nice and relaxed so that she can react quickly to that incoming ball. Next, I want you to look at the player's feet. So notice that she actually takes five steps to get into position for this shot. And I would rather see her take bigger, more efficient steps to get into position. So I think she could have done it with two steps. But even after these five steps, notice how she still doesn't have a lot of space to the side because the arms are tucked in when she's making contact. So she wants to actually be a little bit further away from this ball so that she can extend her arms out to contact, creating more leverage, more power. Now I want you to look at the position of the paddle. So it is on the same side of her body that the ball is on. And what this means is that her front shoulder is not turned. So you actually want the paddle to cross over to the other side so that that front shoulder turns, you're creating a lot more ability to get power by involving the upper bodies. So analyzing her backhand from the beginning, notice that she's not in a ready position. So her paddle is off to the left side here. What we wanna see instead is that paddle comes in with both hands on the paddle, arms nice and relaxed, so that we can make a quick turn in either direction. It doesn't take excess time to be able to get that paddle to the backhand side. The next thing that's really important for all players is that they do a split step. So when your opponent starts their forward swing, we wanna do a little hop so that our heels end up off the ground. We end up in this nice athletic position and that allows us to take a strong first step in any direction. And so I'd like to see this player add a split step into their game just before their opponent makes contact so then they can move with power in any direction. So you'll notice that when this player identifies it's a backhand, they start to move away from the ball with little steps. And again, if they had that split step in the first place, I bet their step size would be bigger and more efficient, but they start to move away from the ball with little steps. And instead of that, I'd like to see fewer steps, but stronger steps. So I think she could have achieved that same distance in two steps versus the five little ones that she took. The other thing that's really important about taking these big steps is you're more prone to prepare properly, to turn your shoulders. Taking these little steps, notice that nothing is happening with this front shoulder or with my paddle, but if I can take an aggressive first step, now I can get my shoulder fully turned from that first step. And if you remember from her video, her shoulder is not fully turned on her swing. Her paddle is just right here, so it's staying on this side of her body, whereas we actually want that paddle to go behind her so that this front shoulder turns more. And that can be achieved by taking a really good first step. So notice that my paddle is no longer on this side of my body, but it's actually crossed behind me a little bit because that front shoulder has turned so much. So again, we don't wanna be making our swing from here because it's gonna be weak, our shoulder's not involved, versus making our swing with that shoulder fully turned. And these things are all related. And so if I miss one checkpoint, then it's hard for me to get the next checkpoint right. So for example, if I don't do a split step, it's hard for me to then take an aggressive first step. Now the player moves this way to create space on the shot, which is correct because that ball is coming right at her. So she needs to move either this way to play a backhand or this way to play a forehand, but she doesn't quite move away far enough. And so you'll notice that when she's hitting, her elbows are both tucked into her side. She doesn't have the ability to extend the arms out to the side. And that's due to lack of space. So she wanted to get a little bit further away from the ball so that she has the ability to reach out to the side, creating this leverage on her swing. So my arms are a little bit away from my side when I make contact with the ball because I have better spacing. So I'm taking strong steps away from the ball so that I can create that space, have that extra power on my swing and make my swing a lot more comfortable. Now the great thing is that this player already has a pretty consistent backhand. She makes a lot of shots in the court with this current technique, but tweaking a few things like this is just gonna make that backhand more versatile and give her the ability to get more power.